Nuseiba bint Ka'ab, the Iron Lady of Islam. Nuseiba bint Ka'ab, also known as Umm Umara, was one of the first female converts from the Ansar of Medina and was an important supporter of the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. Umm Umara is well known for her courageous and heroic advances in the battlefield. She was a great swordswoman and one of the most skilled archers of the Prophet's army. Some of her other notable traits included a remarkable patience and self-control. She was also very learned in the Quran and Hadith. Nuseiba and her husband Zayd ibn Asim radiallahu anhu were among those who accepted Islam in its early years. She was one of the only two Ansari women who attended the second pledge of Al-Aqaba, where she pledged her soul and all her abilities to support Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and his movement of Islam. It was during this pledge of Al-Aqaba that the group of people from Medina invited the Prophet to Medina to become their leader. In 625 AD, during the Battle of Uhud, Muslims were fighting the Meccan army that outnumbered them in many ways. During the battle, not only was Nusayba watering the soldiers and healing their wounds, but she was also encouraging the spirit of fighting in the Muslim soldiers' hearts. She even participated in the fighting on this great day. At one point during the Battle of Uhud, the Prophet took a heavy blow to the face that was so hard he passed out for a few seconds. Immediately, a few men of Quraysh pounced towards him so they could kill him. Nuseiba was nearby. In a flash, she drew her sword and joined the two Muslim men trying to defend the Prophet. She stood tall and determined against the Qurayshi men who were far bigger than her in size and more experienced in fighting. She fought blow for blow, protecting the Prophet peace be upon him, forming a human shield around him until he recovered and gained consciousness. She continued fighting valiantly by sword in an incomparable and unbelievable way. Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, praised her action, saying, Whenever I turned my face to the right and to the left, I saw Umm Umara fighting above me. By the end of the battle, there were about 13 gashes all over her body. It is reported that some of the wounds were so deep and gruesome that she spent a full year in healing one of these wounds. On the battlefield of Uhud, Nuseiba showed that in fighting for her beliefs and her religion, she was capable of showing more strength, determination, and fortitude as any accomplished and celebrated Arab warrior. In spite of being such a brave heroine, she was very humble. She knew the ultimate purpose of her abilities, and she knew for what cause she wanted to use them. So on that day of Uhud, Nuseiba requested the Prophet peace be upon him to ask Allah to grant her and her son's companionship of the Prophet in paradise. The Prophet invoked Allah saying, O oh Allah, make them among my companions in paradise. She said, from now, I won't be grieved by any of the worldly calamities. Nuseiba continued to benefit the Muslims with her inspiring presence in battlefields. Five years after Uhud, the Battle of Hunayn was fought between Muhammad وسلم, and his followers against the army of Ta'if and their allies, the Bedouin tribe of Hawazin. Nuseiba played an effective role in changing the course of the battle's events. She told about her role on that great day, saying, On the day of Hunayn, when Muslims were completely defeated, I unsheathed my sword, shouting, O oh, Al-Ansar, why did you flee? It wasn't your habit to flee. She added, I followed one of the polytheists who wanted to pursue the fugitives of Muslims. I blocked his way till he fell off his camel. Then I hit him and took his sword. When Abu Bakr as-Siddiq, may Allah be pleased with him, was determined to fight the traitors during his time as Khalifa, Umm Amara requested his permission to join the army along with her two sons, Abdullah and Habib. Abu Bakr allowed them to join the army. In this war, Nusayba displayed unsurpassable bravery. Nusayba showed an amazing example of patience when the body of her own son, Habib ibn Zayd, was torn into pieces by Musaylima as he refused to be one of their followers. When she knew about that, she said, I have prepared him for death for the sake of Allah, and I ask Allah to accept him as a martyr. In the Battle of al yamama in 632 AD, she joined the Muslim army in order to get revenge on Musaylima. She participated in fighting, and she was shouting all the time, Show yourself, Musaylima! O oh, the enemy of Allah! Show yourself! 
In her attempts to kill Maselema, she was wounded about eleven times, and one of her hands was cut off. By the end of the battle, Maselema was killed by her son Abdullah after he was thrown down by the bayonet of Wahshi ibn Harb. The Battle of Yamama was the last war that Umm Umara witnessed. Umm Umara spent the rest of her life in worshipping Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and after a long journey in serving Islam by her money, soul, and children, the Iron Lady's tranquil soul ascended to her creator.